Welcome back to another video on the Advanced Roblox Studio series. On this series, I teach about things that are advanced on Roblox Studio. In this video, I'm going to be teaching about welding. If you don't know what welding is, it's similar to how you weld things in real life. And at the same time, I don't know if you actually know what welding is in real life, so I'm going to explain it. So welding is when you put two things together, or when you weld, it's like putting two things together using metal. That's what welding is, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on it, but I think that's what it is. Anyway, and it's similar to how you do it in Roblox Studio, that's what I mean. So I'm going to be showing you how to weld two parts together in Roblox Studio, and I'll be showing you a cool project. And I'm not going to show that project yet until after I'm done with this. So the thing that we're going to do is create a part. And I have the spear here. That's a part of the project. But we're going to put this part on top like that. And in order to weld it, you click here. So you'll want to go to model and all the way to the right. Then you can see here there's this tiny little picture. And then when you hover over it, then it says create. So you want to click on the drop down and click weld. And then now it's going to be welded. Well, it's not going to be welded yet, but you can see this line. I believe you can see it. I'm not sure if you can. But this line here, that's connected to the part. And this is how we're going to weld the two parts together. Then we put it, hover it over the other part. And if we click it, then now we have a weld constraint in our explorer and these two parts are welded together. So then we can move it around. We can move the part around so then it also moves the part in this so that stays in the same place and we can move it around so that it still stays the same with this weld constraint. So you can close these two things up and we can go and start playing. Oh, okay. I think it already showed it for me without me having to push it with my character. So as you can see, it when it rolled down, the part isn't falling down flat. Instead, it's staying with the sphere because they're welded together. So that simple welding. So yeah, it was. It's an easy thing to do. All I need to go do is go and select the part, click this little picture here with the drop down, click weld and weld it to the other part, and then boom, you're done. So yeah, it's quick, pretty easy to do, if you ask me. So yeah, that's how you basically weld a part together to another one, simply. But uh, if I just end the video here, it would barely be uh, two minutes long. So I'm gonna actually show you something that you can do. And that thing, which doesn't include this part, is, a way to make a hovering uh, cir circle above your head. It probably sounds weird, like why would this need to be a project? And the reason why is I decided this is because maybe if you have played Epic mini games on Roblox, then you might know that uh, if you play a game of soccer or where there's any teams in one of the Epic mini games, then you probably know that you would have a hovering circle above your head. It's not going to be exactly like this one, but it would be hovering above your tent head so that you can see of what team you're on. So that's similar to what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to shrink this circle because I think it's too big, and I'm not going to make it too small at the same time. So this is the circle, and now I'm going to actually show you what's in the script. Yeah, This looks like a lot, but don't worry, I'm going to explain all of it. So. The thing we're, what I do first is I create a variable called local part so that we make a variable for the part. And you want to make sure that the script is inside of the part that you're making a variable for. And I'm sorry, I'm very, very sorry if you hear a bunch of background noises like screaming. Um, it's, this is uh, background noises, so please excuse it. Or I'm not sure if you hear it, but if you do, then I'm very sorry. Anyway, so after you create the variable, then you want to go down here and check if the part is touched. So that if this part is touched, then it's going to connect it to a function with hit inside it. 
because we need to check this time uh, what is touching the part or not the part but the 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 sphere sorry I had a second to think but so what we do is with this parameter is we do if the hit dot parent is find first child and we're going to find the humanoid so what this is doing is checking if the humanoid has touched the sphere then and then all this comes in and that this is one local head so we're creating a variable for the character head the character head is like when you load into the game if you know this in the first time I loaded in to show you the welding then you probably saw a little model that said my name and inside of that it would have all the things like my head and my body or torso like every body part that's used to create the character so we're and one of those parts is the head so here we're creating a variable for it since we want it to hover over the head and rolling it to the head so we create a variable for the head which is hit.parent.head and what we do here now is the part C frame. If you don't know what C frame is, it's in my advanced Roblox Studio series. Speaking of series, if you're completely new to Roblox Studio or to this channel, then I recommend you see my beginner series so that you can get all caught up, as well as this series, and I have both of them in my description down below. So you can go check it out if you're completely new and this makes no sense to you. So, yeah, C frame equals to the head C frame times C frame dot new and then 10. Okay, for a second, this probably seems like nonsense, but what this is doing is getting the part C-frame, or where it's going to be positioned, and it's going to be set positioned into at the same area as the head C-frame, but multiplied by the y-axis, which is 10. So it's sort of multiplying it by 10, going up. That's what it's doing. Then here, we're creating a variable for weld because we're going to be welding the two parts together so we need to make a variable for that which is weld which is equal to instance.new weld and here we're doing weld part 0 equals head weld part 1 equals part okay so this part is also probably confusing because I've never talked about this before I can't really show it to you because I can't really find it yet but what it is is that part 0 and part 1 are the two parts that are welded together. Like if I welded the two parts together, like if I created a new part and welded it, then there would be one which is part zero and part one, and those are going to be the two parts that would be welded. And the part that we want to weld is the head and the part, which is placed here. So yeah, it's going to weld those. This part is kind of hard to explain. So this is how we're going to make it also uh, hover over our head. And the reason why is, let me just read it out for you. Weld.co is head.cframe colon inverse. And same thing here, but weld c1 part cframe inverse. So what this is doing is, if we didn't have this, um, and we, I just run the game without these two lines, then the part is going to hover under us because the cframe will automatically like, sort of reset the positioning when it's used. I know it's a weird thing, so that's why we need to add this inverse so that the inverse is going to sort of invert the positioning so then it's above us instead of below us. Yeah, that's what this part is for if you are wondering. You can just type this in for educational purposes so that you can see of how this would work. And then the last line would be weld.parent is equal to the script.parent. So the weld parent would be this part, the parent of the weld. So then that would be it for this script. And then if we click play here and wait a second for it to load in. Here we are. So now we see this part right in front of us. The second we touch it, right over our head. I want to zoom out here. So as you can see, now this circle is right above our head. It's quite high. We can adjust the height and go to the script. If we stop the game, then we can adjust this so that it's lower. So like, see how it's 10 right now? If we made it to, I don't know, 5, then it would be lower. I'll show you. Because I really want to show it to you so that you guys can see it visually. So I can show as much as I can visually so that most people out there can understand. So, let me make it 5. How about that? 
If we click play, wait a second. There we go. So now, now it's even closer to a head because I cut off the 10 to a 5. So now it's lower. You can also adjust the size of the part or the sphere. You, you can edit this. Like, there's a lot of uh, creativity you could add to it by changing a couple of things like you could change the height of this you could ch change of what it's going to float over like it could be on your head it could be on uh, floating next to your uh, what do you call it torso it could be under your feet you can make it like shoes or something I don't know there's a lot of creativity you could do with welding which is really cool to me because you could use this to do a couple things that uh, I can't really show in this video because it would make this video too long but yeah, you can tr check some things out. You can discover a couple of things like the welding tool. You can see, well, yeah, I actually showed you the welding tool. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. But you can check out uh, things like how to change it, like the height of it. You can change the size of the part. You can change it where it's going to be welded to. You can change it to if it's going to run automatically or checking if it's if an event happens, yeah, you have a lot of creativity here, so I'll let you feel free to check this out until my new video tomorrow. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you have an amazing day today and you discover more about welding, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Bye!